guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is the first time you are hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is the first time you are hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is the first time you have ever clicked on one of my videos hi it's very nice to meet you I'm Cotted Sims and I decided as it's coming up for Christmas that I wanted to build a house in the shape of a Christmas tree because I know I've said in previous videos that I am a vintage girl I love all things vintage there's just something so fun about building a house in an unusual shape you know and I think that's probably why this build was so much fun you know because it's not a typical looking house that and I was able to go full-on Christmas with this house I really was I mean I couldn't I couldn't do anything else you know I couldn't build a Christmas tree house and not have Christmas decorations inside that would have been nuts you know so the idea for this house I wanted it to be almost like whoever lives here goes all out for Christmas you know and I feel like everybody knows someone like that whether it's a friend family member or just a neighbor you know we all know someone that goes all out for Christmas you know I mean there are a couple of houses where I live that like you know when it comes to Christmas time their house is just gonna be lit up like a Christmas tree and so that's kind of what I wanted to do with this house but at the same time I didn't want to go over the top if that makes any sense that probably doesn't make any sense like I probably just contradicted myself in that exact sentence but that's what I wanted to do I wanted it to be over the top Christmas but at the same time not over the top I know it doesn't make any sense that it's a contradiction in itself but that's just me <laughs> you know and so I did have a lot of fun building this house and as you can tell every room is green every single room in this house is green because I thought I want to have a color scheme in this house that is Christmassy and so I thought okay Christmas colors to me are red green white um, obviously you have more modern colors like gold and silver but for some reason I just fixated on green and just decided you know what we're gonna run with it that's the color I've chosen that's what we're gonna work with and I think it worked I am very happy with how this house turned out okay so for this entryway here I didn't want to over clutter it because I just tend to find that I don't like over cluttering certain areas which is kind of ironic because if you've watched any of my videos you'll hear me say I love clutter but ironically enough there are certain areas in a house I just don't like doing it and I think an entryway is one of them this living room I'm not even gonna lie the shape of the house once I actually got in and I had to start decorating was a little bit fiddly because of those sharp corners and it, it did struggle a little bit I'm not gonna lie but I think it turned out alright I'm happy with it I'm very happy with it um, I've downloaded so much CC for my game I'm shocked that my game you can still run if I'm honest I really really am I've downloaded so much um, which I have reblogged 
onto my tumblr which i will leave down below so any of the cc i use in my videos i reblog onto my tumblr so if you like it you can go there and you can find it most of it i find on the sims resource if i'm honest so you might already have it in your game already but if you want it it's there for you also i'm gonna say i'm really sorry if i flit from room to room it's just i will see something and i'll think oh that will fit perfectly in this room and i'll flit to another room before i finish the room i'm in but it's only because i know me and i know if i wait till i'm in that room i won't be able to find that object again <laughs> which i know sounds silly you know because how can you lose an object in your game but like it's me okay it's it's me honestly there are things I've put in my game and I'll find by accident but when I actually want to find it I can't find it maybe it's just me this little Christmas tree stand oh my goodness this is so gorgeous I want this in real life then again no no I don't no I don't my nephew would oh my nephew would have fun with that Actually, you know what? No, I don't want it. <laughs> oh, no. No. He, he likes to climb enough as it is. We, I don't need to encourage him. Okay, so this little office area, study area, um, again, I struggled a little bit with decor because I didn't want to overclutter it in the sense that it looked... Uh, what's the word like I was trying too hard you know and can I just say whoever created radiators for this game thank you so much because I feel like that's something that should have come with the game anyway like you're creating a life simulating game why would you not include radiators like come on oh my goodness so this kitchen oh my goodness this kitchen man oh all I can say is I I'm so thankful for the um the cheat that allows you to move an object however you want um, and if you don't know what cheat I'm talking about when you're moving an object if you hold down the alt key you can place it wherever you want it won't follow the grid um, so if you're like me and you've seen simmers move objects wherever they want to put them despite the grid that's how you do it and as you can tell as I said earlier I went with red and green theme in this house I know red and green are not exactly complementing colours when put together but it's a Christmas house you know I, I had to do it I had to have red and green you know it's just and the fact that the, the countertops are white is just perfect you know it fits in with my green red and white theme for this house I did have to remind myself to leave some counter space though <laughs> because I started getting a little bit over top with the over the top with the clutter and with this dining table oh because of the shape of the house once again it was like this table's perfect it's already decked out for Christmas I don't have to add anything so I really really wanted it but it was like I want to add the appropriate amount of chairs even though this is a one person house or a two people house um, I want to add lots of chairs you know because most people at Christmas have parties have friends over so if you want your sim to have a party there's chairs there's enough seats for everyone I don't know what I'm saying at this point I'm so sorry <laughs> oh my goodness Oh, these Christmas cards. These Christmas cards. I love these so much. 
um, I took pictures of the Christmas cards in the living room um, so that you'll get a better picture of them because when I found them oh I fell in love I really did someone bless them thank you so much for creating them someone has created Christmas cards obviously the decor obviously but you can get Christmas or you can get Wiccan or Hanukkah cards for the for the holiday or the season so that's just absolutely awesome I think that's absolutely amazing that someone's done that so I I did put them in this house um, just to show them off a little bit you know because I don't know maybe this is a a couple where one of them celebrates Christmas and the other celebrates Hanukkah I don't know maybe uh, this bedroom is very very simple and I forgot to add a chest of drawers I'm just gonna say it before you guys notice I forgot when I was filming this I was trying to multitask I was trying to decorate and figure those pillows out but at the same time I was talking to someone bad mistake for me you know I when I'm decorating I need to just focus because if I get distracted that's when I tend to forget stuff and that's what happened I forgot the chest of drawers I can't believe I did that man I can't believe I did that then again I also forgot a couple of um, decor items in the bathroom yeah I hold my hands up I did it I'm so sorry normally I'm, I'm better than that but like I said you know I got distracted plus I was recording this at early hours of the morning well by the time I finished recording it was the early hours of the morning because what a lot of people don't realize is that a speed build might only be maybe 15 20 minutes but that's because it's sped up a speed build for me like this one took a couple of hours you know it it wasn't quick because i can't just get into a house and start building I have to look at the layout and pre-think, okay, where's the kitchen going to go? Where's the bathroom going to go? Um, which layout works better? You know, which, which room would look better where? And so I did, I did have to add a couple of walls into this house, um, like in the bathroom, so that the shower fit. But... I feel like it works because it's not technically a challenge it was this was just some fun okay so I didn't break any rules by adding extra walls into the house and the outside the outside I just I kept simple you know I didn't want to overcomplicate it because I do tend to do that I tend to add a lot of plants and foliage and I just I thought you know what this is a Christmas tree house keep it simple okay so if you have made it to the end of this video thank you so much for putting up with my rambling I really really do appreciate it if you like this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe drop a comment downstairs this house will be on the, the gallery under cottage underscore one underscore sims I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you all in my very next video. Bye!